Welcome to another Bean Pick. This is January 2012 and we've been going over the Elite Archery lineup. We went over the Pure first, then we went over the Answer, and this month we're going to go over the Hunter. And we're also going to go over the new Elite Grip. Um, Elite offered a new one-piece grip that just came out with. We have a sample and I'm going to kind of show it to you and show it how it fits on this bow. But first things first, this is the, the Elite Hunter. And it's basically the same type bow from last year. Uh, this bow, was, the Hunter was new for 2010 and it was born from the previous versions of the Z28, which are very famous and very for smoothness and accuracy and a great all around hunting bow. And the Hunter is 31 and three quarters axle to axle ATA. And it's got a seven and a half inch brace height. Um, this bow, um, is in all real tree AP and as you can see uh, it's got the new elite logos that we've seen before on the limbs the it's got the new on the riser here as well something new that we've talked about in the other reviews is the 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 limb saver string suppressors that they have on here to kind of take down some noise here um, we still have the speed knocks that we've seen from Elite in the past. The, they also have added a new uh, limb saver to go around the actual string suppressor, string stop here. Um, and then also there's still the limb savers on the limbs as well. So it's an all around good shooting quiet bow. I actually shot a hunter last year as my hunting bow. It's very smooth, um, very forgiving and accurate. Now it's not gonna be the fastest of the Elite bows, but it's going to be one of the smoothest drawings, bows, and it's going to be very easy to handle and maneuver. Uh, this past weekend we went hunting and I had a little longer axle to axle bow and I was in a ground blind and my cam kept wanting to bump the top of the blind. And so that can be an issue and that's one nice thing about the Hunter, it's very compact. And for the, that ATA really does do well in tree stand situations and you're in a tight spot and also in ground blinds. Um, but you, once again, you can get all the different finishes. You can do black and real tree limbs, or black and Max One. Uh, they got the snow limbs. You can do all, you know, real tree AP like this bow is, along with Max One snow camo, and you can do the ninja. Um, just to show everybody the new grip. This is a Santa Prime grip, and that's what it looks like. It's got the little Elite emblem on there, um, and. And basically what it does, it slips right on over the grip that Elite already has um, here. And you can you take the little wood off and place this grip on and it's gonna come with uh, a double sided adhesive um, to make to be create a, like a more permanent fit. And so that grip is gonna fit on there like that. Now I haven't took the wood off, but that's kind of how it's gonna look. Um, with it on there. But once you take the wood off, it'll fit like it should. But that was just a new thing the Elite's come out with. There's been a lot of people that's been interested in the one piece grip. And they, some people like the wood and like it just like it is. I personally like it. But there's some people that have a tendency maybe to torque the bow or something like that. Well, with a rubber grip and this one piece and it's a little bit wider, it should take out some of that torque. And this may help with some accuracy if you do have some torquing issues. All right. So that's a new grip and we're going to shoot the Hunter. I did shoot the Hunter a few times before we started rolling on the camera. Uh, we did, did have our chronograph set up. This bow is set at 70 pounds right now and it's a 29 inch draw. According to their documentation that comes with the bow, the Hunter at 20, at a 30 inch draw, 350 grain arrow, 70 pound draw weight supposed to shoot about 310 312 feet per second this bow like i said 29 inch draw 70 pound draw weight and we have carbon express pile driver 350 arrows with 100 grain fill point they weigh out to be about 455 grains and through the chronograph we were getting 275 feet per second so um, that just gives you kind of like a baseline of what we're talking about there's not any creep on this i don't notice any hand shock um, like I said, very smooth, very forgiving. It's the, kind of, it's the bow I shot last year and I really enjoyed. Um, you know, it's just a great all-around bow and, it's, and it does what it's made for, is for hunting. Um, 
you know, you target guys, you may want to go with the pulse of the pure. And um, so that, we're going to do one, one shot here so you can kind of see the draw cycle and how it kind of how it kind of feels and how it shoots. Um, very dead in the hand, no hand shock, very smooth. I'm going to grab my arrow and shoot it one more time just so everybody can see. Um, but that, I would say this is one of the elite bows that has probably the least amount of hand shock in my opinion. But, but all of them are dead in the hand. But this one is really, in my opinion, really dead in the hand, I guess, as you can say. Um, but very, very smooth draw. Um, very easy to shoot. But that is the Elite Archery Hunter. Um, you can, if you have any questions about the bow or, or, or want to come shoot, you can contact us. Um, name of the business is Bean Outdoors. My email is eric, E-R-I-C, at beanoutdoors.com. Our phone number is 336-564-2400. Our shops recently moved. We we're located in the Clemens Arcadia area in North Carolina. Um, if you, but if you have any questions or want to shoot, feel free to come by. We do carry the full line and we have them in stock, the Pulse, the Pure, the Hunter, and the New Answer. And this is the Elite Archery Hunter for 2012. Thanks for watching.